If you were outside today, you noticed it was another warm day across much of the Midlands, and it looks like we're going to have one more of these warm days to go. But then we are tracking a nice fall cool down as we go throughout the rest of the work week. Not only our afternoon highs going to come down, morning lows are going to be quite comfortable as the week goes on. And plus, we're tracking an eye on the tropics where we do have Hurricane Milton out there in the Gulf of Mexico. But as mentioned, it's all about these temperatures. That's going to be the story for the upcoming work week. Could hit 88 tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we're going to get a little extra warming ahead of the front for our Monday. But look, as that front moves through, we drop down to 80 degrees by Tuesday and then mid 70s Wednesday and Thursday. And then by Friday afternoon highs might only be in the low 70s. So a drastic drop in temperatures here over the upcoming work week. And as mentioned, it's not only those daytime temperatures. Look at some of these morning lows as the week progresses by Friday and Saturday morning. I think everyone will be dropping into the 40s for morning lows. So yes, some cool crisp starts by the end of the work week. Definitely going to start to feel a little bit more like fall here in the Midlands. Finally outside though right now you can see clear skies. It was a beautiful afternoon. Just a little warm temperature still at 82 degrees, but you can see that dew point a little drier. So it felt a little bit more comfortable today and that's going to continue to be the case as the week goes on. Clear skies right now on satellite and radar, but look at Florida not looking like the sunshine state today is pretty much the entire state blanketed it by scattered showers and thunderstorms. This is that upper level low that's a ahead of the system that's going to bring the powerful storm as the week progresses. So heavy rains continue across Florida into our Monday while we have our front making its way into the region. But ahead of this, we'll get that little extra warming. So that's why we do think we could push the upper 80s tomorrow as Milton continues to make its way slowly off to the east. That front then swings all the way through. So that's why we get the temperature drop behind the system into our Tuesday. And this front is also going to help to keep Milton to our south becoming possibly a pretty strong category three hurricane by Tuesday afternoon and then Wednesday likely makes landfall along Florida. But again, with our front keeps the worst of it to our south across Florida, we'll just get maybe some high cloud cover the stream into our region, but we still have that northerly flow. So temperature is going to be on the cool and comfortable side. Thursday, the system moves out into the Atlantic again, still could have some cloud cover wrapping around, maybe some rain out towards the coast. But here in the Midlands, maybe just a little extra breezy for our Thursday. Day, but it looks like we're not going to have any impacts from the system. It's high pressure. It's just going to continue to dominate our weather for most of the week. And then by Friday, as it sinks a little bit south, that's going to bring that extra shot of even cooler air. So that's why temperatures just continue to fall as the week progresses. But it does look fairly nice. But here's the latest with Hurricane Milton, 85 miles per hour. Again, expected to become a category four storm by Tuesday into Wednesday with winds approaching 140 miles per hour. And it looks like it's going to make landfall somewhere between Tampa and Fort Myers Wednesday afternoon, likely as a major category three storm with winds of 120 miles per hour with a massive storm surge likely over 10 feet for some locations. So unfortunately, this does look like it's going to be another bad system. Evacuations likely going to be ordered here in the coming days for people in Florida to get out of the way of this system. It'll then weaken once it gets out into the Atlantic. But for us, for our Monday, we'll start off in the low 60s, should climb into those mid to upper 80s with partly cloudy skies. And then temperatures do cool off down into the 70s by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And there's those morning lows dropping into the 40s by Friday and Saturday.